Uh, we have come to you to highlight on what has happened today concerning the case involving one of our handball cases in the region, the late Onesmas Masako. As some of you may be aware, we have been following the issue after our colleague was injured by a police officer at Makuene by the name Nancy Jerry. And uh, when we appeared to court before on, uh, on, on 9th, on 9th of uh, this month, the court had given directions that she be remanded at Makuene for two weeks. And today we are, we are appearing in the court uh, as a follow-up where we have confirmed to the court that uh, our colleague has already fallen and therefore the change of, uh, uh, the change of attempted murder has collapsed and the police officer is going to be charged with uh, an offence of murder before the court. She has been presented to court today and she has been remanded for a further 21 days so that after that she can be brought to court here at Machakos to take plea. The court has also directed that she be remanded at Machakos police station and she is supposed to be taken for mental assessment at Machakos level 5 hospital before she takes plea on 10th of November uh, this year. As we speak now, the, uh, there is a team at Kenyatta National Hospital Moshari where the post-mortem is being conducted. As members of the as LSK leadership, we have already appointed a pathologist who is representing us and the family in the function. I've also been informed that um, there is um, another, a government pathologist and also another pathologist who is uh, representing the suspect uh, in, in, the, in the exercise. I also need to confirm that uh, the barrio will be tomorrow at his village home at uh, Ngonda at Kangundo. Uh, we continue to send the message of condolence to the family and uh, the LSK fraternity. May I take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my colleagues who have come out in numbers uh, to follow justice for our colleague. It council. Uh, representing the deceased and the family and the law society of Kenya in ensuring that uh, justice is done to our fallen colleague who left us so uh, unexpectedly. As uh, you may have noticed, we appeared before the deputy register of the High Court, but on the 10th of November is when uh, the formal charge will be taken before the judge here in Machakos. And in the meantime, because uh, the family will be pushing for Non release on bond. Uh, it's also necessary, as is a practice now, that the suspect be tested for COVID so that in the event that bond is not granted, as we shall be praying, then she can be remanded in custody. Otherwise, with me, we are several lawyers, some of whom are behind me, others uh, will not be able to come, but I can assure you that they will be present throughout during the proceedings before the High Court. Thank you. <laughs> before the judge. Then appear for plea 
before for pending bill hearing or pending it has not been advanced that investigations are ongoing or are incomplete the suspect can present herself on a day is admitted Will not be the best interest, particularly for those protests. Correct that the suspect is no longer. Sorry, she is looking forward to having. The suspect can appear for plea. Um, we are informed that the diary for criminal matters will be on the second week of November 2020. There are also some pending issues that need to be finalized by the I.O., including post-mortem and the recording of statements. In that case, I will have the suspect detained at the Machapas Police Station for the purpose of mental assessment and COVID test pending pre on 10th of November before the charge. 10th November. Yes. Hmm? According to the diary, 10th is the date that is proposed. Yes. The accused person has been presented before court today for plea of murder. However, mental assessment is yet to be conducted. We therefore be seeking for orders for the accused person to be taken for mental assessment at Machako's Level 5 Hospital. And for the accused person to be demanded at Machako's police station. As the mental assessment is being conducted and pending testing negative for COVID. 